What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or catch us online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. That's right, got some new headphones. I bought them at work the other day. Now they're rocking and rolling. I went out and bought some new ones. Um, all right, ISON. It's time, guys. If you want to start seeing it, if you got a pair of binoculars or a small telescope, you can see it. I've been looking for it the last couple uh, days. The last two nights, our last two mornings have actually been really nice here. I've been able to go out. It's been chilly, very, very chilly, actually. But I've been able to see it with my binoculars. I'm still having trouble with this. Uh, I have a telescope a buddy of mine gave me, and I'm looking to buy a, a nice telescope, like something I can take pictures with. I don't want to spend more than like $2,500. So if there's anybody out there who actually knows anything about telescopes i'm just learning i've been doing a lot of research online but i'm looking for somebody who knows what they're doing has taken pictures with theirs before because i want to get something i want to spend enough money to be able to show you guys what i'm doing um if there's something new coming in you know you guys can ask me to do it hey go look at this go look at so i'm looking at something that has pretty much the automatic tracking i'd like to get some of the bells and whistles if i got to spend a little bit more i will i don't want to spend any more than five thousand though um, for the setup. So that's that's something I want to get in the next year. Um, if you guys message me on here or message me at my email address, will at willfraud.net, if you know anything about it. Um, if you're into the astronomy or photo astronomy, really, if you're into that, that's really what I want to see. Um, but let's do some comet news, space news here. Comet Ison, if you want to see it this week, you're going to have to go outside and around 4 a.m. you head out and you look to the east and you're going to see Leo rising. Um, and what you're going to do is if you have a simple star map, you can see it come up here. Um, this is a Huffington Post article about, article about finding it in the sky. Um, and let me read a little bit to you here. Um, not too much need to be known here. I'll just tell you. All right. The uh, one paragraph was good. It's telling you about that. Okay. Circumstances are good as the comet continues to brighten around 4 a.m. Head outside and look to the east to see Leo rising. Simple star map, like the one below here, will help you spot the constellation that looks like a question mark or a sickle, along with a bright triangle of stars closer to the horizon. This week, the comet is inching along to the east underneath Leo's bright triangle of stars. It's currently near the border of the constellations Leo and Virgo. So it's Pretty nice to find. It's pretty easy. Go outside at 4 a.m. Instead, just look towards the east, and basically, hopefully, you'll be able to find it out there um, as it's coming up. And like I said, here's the star map for you. This will all be linked below. Um, Washington Post ran an article today on the mission from India. I'm getting so excited about this. The uh, launch is coming the 5th, which is tomorrow. We're having launch. Let's all say a little uh, awesome, you know, good luck to uh, India. I hope you guys can make it and send back some awesome pictures. I'm excited. Hey, look, when uh, Europe got their Mars Express out there and we started getting some of those pictures back and they've come in, oh, in beautiful color, beautiful color, showing us really what Mars is. Um, you know, I really am excited to see what you guys can come up with. I hope nothing happens to you guys. And, uh, you know, we go from there. Let me read a little bit to you here. And I'll put the link, as always. Um, India Space Agency has begun its formal countdown to the launch of its unmanned orbiter to Mars, a voyage to Indian hopes will continue to contribute to the growing body of scientific data on the far-off planet. On Tuesday afternoon, if all goes as planned, India will launch a spacecraft called Mangalinan, or the Mars Orbiter Mission. I don't even know how to say that. If somebody here does know how to pronounce that, let me know. Um, from a small island near Cheni on a country's south southern coast. All right. The craft will take 11 months to reach the atmosphere of the cold, forbidding planet, traveling 140 million miles from Earth. Wow. It's just amazing that we can send rovers there. We can send things there. Million, 100 40 million miles away, and that's just where it's going to be at that time. So the Indian Prime Minister announced the plans for the mission during a major address in August 2012. A few months after arrival, China's attempt to send an orbiter on a Russian mission failed. The plans raised talk of a new space race in Asia. Well, we'll see. Um, but the spokesperson for India's space agency said the primary objective of the trip is to showcase technological capabilities to reach Mars and to collect data for future space missions and hopefully send us some awesome pictures. So that's exciting. And a lot of people like this goes on to talk about how a lot of people are upset with India because a lot of their people are malnourished and, uh, you know, they're, they're not spending the money on the food. But I see what India is doing here. They're they're they're. What space money and stuff is for, they're actually taking themselves and they're putting themselves on the market. I mean, India is going to get a lot of, if they successfully do this mission, they're going to get a lot more business for certain things. They've also spent a lot of money in their own uh, country with their scientists, their co their corporations, you know. So I, I, I see us getting off the planet at some point and everybody who can possibly help us um, being a good thing, $74 million in the scheme of things, is not that much money. Um, 
maybe it is for a couple people or maybe 50 families here or something, you know, maybe more, you know, maybe 70, so many people live off so little in the world. That is a, such a huge number. And it sounds so arrogant saying, oh, 74 million is not that much, but just what we might get out of it in data alone. Plus it puts India on the map when it comes to space, you know, they really want to do that. They've taken the computer leaps. They've taken technology, take the, all sorts of technological leaps. Um, and we, here's us wishing you, you know, you know, nice travels. You know, our Maven's going to, United States, I'm in the United States, we're going to shoot our Maven off here soon as well. And uh, hopefully we'll be traveling side by side over to it. Check it out here on the launch pad. They did have a good picture of it sitting on the launch pad. There it is right there. Uh, ready to go. Look at that rocket. Excited for it. Once again, check out the website. It's whatsupinthesky.com. It's uh, What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. My name's Will. Take it easy. Have a great night. Peace. We'll let you know tomorrow what happens with this launch.